So it's a chilly evening. We've got baseball on tap at Field of Dreams. Tonight. A.J. Burnett out of the state of Arkansas is on the hill here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in this last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Time now for a glance at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Adam Hazley is the second out of the opening frame. Bryce Harper is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you'd normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Looking solid. Ranger Suarez will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Hazley is there, and he makes the catch for the out. For the moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Dero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Hey, Matty, taking a look at this lineup, Watch out for something in this one. Watch out for them driving the starting pitcher's pitch count up. Their bullpen is top five in blown saves. This offense feels like if it becomes a bullpen game, they can score late. So look for them to try and get this starter out of there. First delivery to him. Line drive base hit. Nice A-B right there. A little potential for some two-out lightning getting a cleanup hitter to the dish after the first two batters of the inning were retired. Popped up. Hoskins is under it. And he makes the play to end the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Fouled away. Hey, when you come out of the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Hey, d -Row, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will, so you better be on top of your game with two strikes, because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your ticket. Fouled off. Oh, the old classic two strike. Let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Brad Miller comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Popped him up. Perez is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. First offering. JT Real Muto stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Key Brian Hayes digging in now. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. 
the third baseman. First delivery to him. To third. Gloved by Miller. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Next to hit is Willie Stargell, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. And now the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. McCutcheon is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Next to dig in, Bill Mazeroski. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. There's a lot of ways to get on base. Base hit, a walk, hit by pitch. This guy's in the top five on base percentage. He does a little bit of all of those things. Hit back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Dan that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that. No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well and after that knock right there. Hey listen eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say hey he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. Now the 1 0. lifted down the line and left and that's in there base hit the throw to third and McCutcheon won't get him he's in there at third batting nine, the pitcher. into the box now A.J. Burnett and on the first pitch he hits it in the air to right Harper giving chase he's there to track it down and that'll end the inning now to the plate here is Freddie Galvis. He's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah. Here comes the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Freddie Galvis goes down for the first out here in inning number three. Andrew McCutcheon is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. As this game progresses I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. A ball and two strikes now. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. And now here is Ranger Suarez. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch that might be the case with this one right here took a wheelhouse fastball 0 0 center cut didn't even give the impression he was swinging and it's fouled away third inning no score to this point another one sent foul. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Three up. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the five tool middle infielder, Wander Franco. First pitch of the AB now. Hit in the air to center field. Hazley is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Now batting. The center fielder. So next to bat will be Andrew McCutcheon hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah pretty unlucky right there Matty squared up a fastball nicely and that's all you can do you just want to be on. Meanwhile this ball is into right center and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. 
And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, d -Row, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. The third baseman, Keith Ryan. Hey. At the plate now, Key Brian Hayes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Harper, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. As he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. Segura is under this one. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. But the Pirates plate three in the inning. All and that'll bring up Gene Segura. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Grounded to short. Scooped up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now battle. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Pirates' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Adam Hazley will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Adam Hazley goes down for out number two in the top half. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing in. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Bill Mazeroski. He collected a base hit his first time up. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. In there, now the throw. Not in time, as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Chopped toward the second baseman. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Up next to the so the next to bat will be A.J. Burnett. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch on the way. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time at first for route number two. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in to swing the bat next is Wander Franco. First pitch of the A-B now. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Up next to the fire. The center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Stepping in now, Andrew McCutcheon. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. The 1 0. A bouncer up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now that the right field. Yay! And that brings in the Cobra, Dave Parker. And he hits it hard to the right side. And that is into right field, a base hit. And the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 nothing now. 
Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And here comes the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Hoskins behind to count 0 and 2. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Fouled away. Miller is manning the hot corner down at third in today's game, although he's primarily considered a second baseman. You know, this is an interesting one. I'd be interested in two things. A, is he still using the glove that he uses at second base? And B, does he have enough arm strength to go over to third base? Because until you go backhand on that left side of the infield and turn and burn and throw to first, you have no idea the difference in arm strength that it takes to man that position as opposed to second. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Fouled off. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five. Now at the plate, here is Key Brian Hayes. He's working on a one for two game so far. First offering. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Next up, Willie Stargell. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Next to hit, Bill Mazeroski. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. To the plate now, Michael Perez. He swings and lines it to left. He's under it, and that ends the inning. But add on one more as the solo. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Now look out as this is whistled foul off to the right side. The wind up and the 0 1. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Scott Kingery will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Popped him up. Stargell in foul ground, and that retires the side. Sam Howard gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Coming on is McCutcheon, but he won't get there. It falls in. Hey, you talk about having a game right here. 
This guy's working on a no-no. And he mixed in a knock. How would you like to be on the mound knowing you got more hits than the opposition? You haven't given up anything yet. That brings up Wander Franco. Grounded back up the middle. A bare hand for one. On to first. And here indeed is a super double play. Now back. So base is empty now after the double play. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Andrew McCutcheon. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon finds some space out there for the catch to retire. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Gene Segura. Hey, this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot, but you have to have one quality at bat followed by another quality at bat. Don't give any outs away. No A.B.'s go unnoticed right here. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Adam Hazley is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. The next 0 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Even though. We're and he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven. Into the box, Dave Parker. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. Here it comes. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Wow, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D. Rowe. Three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Standing in now, Key Brian Hayes. Pitches a cold strike. The throw, not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. That's not easy to do. To steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like this, great base running there. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hard ground ball to third. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. The tag, and they got him at third. What a throw. The first baseman, Willie. At the plate, Willie Stargell pulled toward right center field. Harper on the run, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following one out double. Bailey Falter comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So now to the plate Bill Mazeroski. He swings and grounds it to short. Galvis is there. Throw to first not in time as the run is across to score. When we looked at this game on paper before it started I don't think any of us thought it would go down like this. Yeah man hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Throw into third but too late and he's safe at third. 
Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. And now it's the Pirates pitcher, A.J. Burnett. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Foz now the pitch. Line to the right side. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Hey guys that's his second hit of the game. He's also got a good chance of getting a W on the mound. I mean this is stuff you do when you're nine and ten years old. Not when you're in professional baseball. Into the corner and slicing foul. He's got one hit in four at bats. Oh one here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Harper. But it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Connor Brogdon enters now in a mop up roll as she'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Into the box now, Andrew McCutcheon fouled away. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 0 1 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Next, here is Dave Parker, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set and the pitch. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. I mean that had to feel good right there Dan that's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead they might have this one locked up. Well I tell you those are always big those add on insurance runs big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product Reese Hoskins. We're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business Matt. He's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. And another one strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. Brad Miller is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Oh and two the count to Miller. Man this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Fouled off. The next 0 2. And he fouls this one off. He got a mistake right there but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count heater caught too much of the zone. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. This is hit high and deep out to left. A ball that's carrying. And he's able to get there on the long run, and he covered a lot. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and up next is Key Brian Hayes. First pitch on the way. And that's down into left center for a base hit. He's around first heading for two. And he is in the second with a double his third hit of the night. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what work the count make the pitcher waste a few pitches but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch it's hard not to go after it and that's just tack on another here as the runner scores from second they are putting in some work at the plate in this one Matt another great A.B. another hit another nail in the coffin that's a startling 15 runs in this one and they're still going. Hazley is right there, one down. Next to stand in is Michael Perez. Singled home a run in his last time up. He's set, here it comes. Here's a drive out to left center field.
And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Wow, we really got to see some elite speed burning around the base pads on that play. He came all the way around to score rather easily, and that top speed on show track makes me think we should start saying he's in scoring position when he's at first base. A.J. Burnett swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at-bat. It's 0-2 now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. So it was a swinging strike three. A.J. Burnett becomes out number two this inning. Hard hit towards center. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. Man, he's wishing right now this game could go on forever, or at least until he can get up again, because otherwise that is probably his last at bat of the game. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. Two run shot to straightaway center. Home run number 37 on the year as they just continue to pour it on here. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. At the plate now, Dave Parker. And that's through for a hit. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Next to bat will be Jason Bay, and he puts it on the ground to second. Segura has it. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is fun. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Freddie Galvis. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 0 1. Popped him up. Franco has a play. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And now in the box, Andrew McCutcheon. He grounded out last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Got him to go down swinging there. Andrew McCutcheon goes down for the second out, and now they're down to their final try. And it's fouled away. His average sits at 296 entering play. Three homers and an even 20 RBIs. Behind 0-2 now. Fouled away. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it.